Os invernos podem nos parecer rigorosos, mas parece que não têm sido assim tanto. A formação de gelo no Polo Norte no inverno de 2011 foi mais baixa do que há memória desde que os satélites começaram a fazer medições em 1979. E isto pode ser um problema. The poles are important for a few reasons. The most important is this. Changes at the poles profoundly affect the climate on the whole rest of the planet. And what people need to realize, the planet is one big interconnected system. As you lose ice from the poles, you wind up with dark ocean water exposed, which absorbs sunlight and it continues the heating up of the ocean that's already going on today. Also, too, if you're interested in sea level rise around the planet, the poles are where the majority of the ice is. And as that ice melts and goes into the ocean, it raises sea level. And about a half of the tenth of, a year, tenth of an inch a year sea level rise we see now comes from polar ice. As medições têm sido feitas por satélite, mas também por aviões que, através de radares, conseguem ver a espessura dos glaciares e a que velocidade de gelo acontece. Mas o que se verifica é que tem sido cada vez mais rápido. Every year the ice grows out to about maybe two times the size of the continental U.S. It used to be that that ice would melt back every year to about the size of the continental U.S. Now it's melting back to less than half the size of the U.S. And so what we're trying, and on top of that, it's thinner now than it's ever been. And this year it looks like we're heading towards another one of those record lows. But what's important is this. We need to understand how that ice is connected to the ocean and the atmosphere so we can do better projections on it. And what we do with ice bridges, we do the detailed work that will allow us to do that. Quanto mais rápido se perceber a construção destes glaciares, mais eficaz poderá ser a luta contra o tempo.